Conducting user interviews well is the mark of a great UX researcher and a UX designer. And I wanted to see, since interviews have so much language in them, if ChatGPT could be a useful tool for this. So in here, I'm going to ask it to write a user script for something benign, like a food delivery application. And we'll see. Of course, just write me a script to test a food delivery app is not exactly what I would call a high quality interview. Um, but, you know, I want to see what it does. So write a user interview about a food delivery app. And we'll see what it gives us. Let's take a moment here. Okay, there we go. So it starts, it starts generating the questions. So not bad, general stuff. All right, pretty cool. How do you rate the app's delivery speed? Okay, so digging into a specific app in this particular case, which is interesting. And what other features would you like to see added to the app in the future? All right. So, you know, again, this is a general thing. You probably would not actually interview a user with something this broad because what are you trying to learn here, right? Are you trying to, um, you know, test a new feature? Are you trying to, uh, you know, improve the app as a whole, which, you know, you don't really go at it in this way. So instead, I want to make it uh, generate a user interview script to test um, a new scheduling feature in the food delivery app. So let's see. All right. How do you currently schedule food deliveries? This is cool. So now it's um, giving us more specific questions. Now, what's interesting about the way ChatGPT works, and in this case, we saw that because I asked it something in the beginning, this generate a user interview script to test a new scheduling feature just gave me questions because in the beginning, I said, write a user interview about food delivery. Now, if I take this exact same prompt and copy it over here and go to new chat, and then I'm going to paste this and hit send. Look at what happens this time. So it's going to take a minute to process that request. And then it's going to actually give me an opening paragraph. And that's because of the word uh, uh, script here. So it's interesting the order of things that you give it in because it can totally change what you get out of it. Something that we're not so used to in Google, where every time you do a new query, you get something totally new. Um, so in this case, you know, because I started before with just the questions, at least that's what it understood I wanted. Then the next thing I said, which was generate a user interview script, it didn't give me this opening paragraph, which then comes with, uh, you know, some general questions here. Let's see where it goes with this. Okay. You walk us through the steps of scheduling delivery using our apps. New. All right. Okay. So... I tend to like my user interviews in sections where I know, you know, I'm doing like introductory stuff and then I'm going to do some, you know, uh, industry specific question and then maybe go to the actual test uh, of, of the feature. So this particular request is generating all the questions straight like this, which is not exactly what I wanted. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try and see if it will break it up into sections for me. Let's just give it a minute to finish its conclusion. Although overall, the structure is pretty decent and the questions are actually, can you walk us through the steps? Okay. Yeah, you see, it didn't, it didn't give the user like a scenario or anything like that. So obviously it's not the best, um, it's not the best thing, but the questions themselves are actually not terrible. You know, how do you currently schedule? So it kind of understood that. Can you tell us about a time when you needed to schedule food delivery in advance? Pretty decent. So let's see here, please break up <laughs> the questions into sections. Let's see what happens. 
The please isn't necessary. I'm just hedging my bets here. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, interesting. It actually kind of knows that, and I guess... I guess the questions were already in the same order because it seems to have kept the exact same questions. So there seems to be something in the data behind ChatGPT that already was aware um, about the order in which questions should come in, which makes sense. Um, and so then it could directly infer just by putting a gap between the questions what each section was. At least now, because they're broken up into sections, I can add some other stuff here, like um, add... A section about uh, competing apps. I don't even have to specify that it's food, I don't think. So let's see what happens now. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Testing new feature. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess there isn't necessarily like a right order to these questions, but competing apps. Okay. Okay. Just two questions. I like it. It's curt. It's not going to drag the user around for like a two hour interview. Have you used scheduling? Okay. Nice. Nice. Again, very cool stuff. And so then the last test I want to see is maybe changing the kind of person we're asking. Um, we're asking the questions to. So rewrite the interview, uh, rewrite this, uh, or tailor these this interview towards someone who isn't familiar with technology. And let's see what happens. There we go. And it took off. Okay. Writing very slowly. Plan your delivery ahead of time. Let's see if it changes. Oh yeah. This feature, okay. It changed the introduction. Question one. Have you ever ordered food to be delivered to you before? Okay, what was question one up here? Can you tell us about the time you need to schedule? Okay. So question two, it was about apps. Question two, general. Uh-huh. This is really interesting because now, um, you know, you aren't necessarily going to use ChatGPT to write the interview script for you, but maybe if you have one, you can paste it in here and ask it to tailor the interview for a variety of different audiences. And that way, you can um, just get a sense for what it could look like should you want to interview a totally different user persona um, or user profile. And uh, if you, you know, checked out the series before, uh, in the previous video, I mentioned how you can generate user personas using ChatGPT with very similar techniques of going back and forth with the model uh, to, to, to refine it. So let's see here, section two, testing the feature. I'm going to show you how. Can you tell me what you think about the process as I show you? Oh, interesting. See, I'd never have thought to, to do that personally. Easy for you to understand. I mean, I, I actually think this is really not a great idea because what's the point of showing someone and asking what they think of it as you click through it? Like, you're not going to learn much. But it's interesting to see that, to see that it's thought of that. Hmm. Uh, if, you, if you could schedule it, okay. Cool. And I think it got a little bit confused because it blended uh, something from the uh, competitors that I asked of it above into the final thoughts, but I think that's okay. So there you go, guys. That's how you can ask uh, chat GPT to write your user interview. And of course, the uh, nice thing about using this kind of interface is we can ask it to generate a follow-up email. So um, give me a follow-up email with um, a request to schedule a second interview. There we go. 
As always, these emails are so fun to watch as they get written. And I'm reaching out to your crest. All right. Here we go. So a little bit repetitive, right? That's kind of the thing that we, we we're seeing a lot in chat GPT. Um, we understand your time is valuable. We'll work around your schedule. Like this is a lot of uh, huffing and puffing after the request. Uh, but otherwise, you know, great. The most interesting thing about this is um, comparing this with maybe stuff that you have and seeing how you feel about these questions. A lot of the times I feel like chat GPT isn't so much something that's made for you to just get questions out of it or get any contact out of it and then just go and use it as is. Instead, it's like, uh, almost a barometer that you can look at and go, okay, there may be a question here that I missed. Maybe some of these questions are good if I can tweak them a little bit more. But in general, you know, a UX team of one will not be sad <laughs> having something like this that they can use uh, if uh, you're in a crunch time, especially. So thanks again for tuning in. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep poking and prodding at this thing and digging as much value as I can out of it. Uh, for this field. So follow along. Cheers.